drive up through this typical Hungarian village and all I see is this never-ending razor wire fence. I take a photograph and I tweet, Fortress Europe. We finally hit the official Hungarian-Serbian border crossing and as I open the car door, I'm hit by that familiar smell of tear gas. The refugees had become increasingly frustrated and tried to breach the border crossing. And the Hungarian authorities responded with more tear gas and water cannons. I feel a tap on my shoulder and this man is explaining to me that security forces, while pushing back the refugees, had taken some of the women and children. Immediately we begin to investigate what had happened. One man had lost his wife and a young child. Another man lost two of his children. And after an hour of speaking to eyewitnesses, we're sure they had taken these children. And we draft an immediate press statement. While my colleagues in London were making sure that it was getting out to the world's press, we spot a Serbian minister responsible for refugee affairs standing at the border crossing. We give him the list of names. After some negotiation, he tells us he will go directly to the Hungarian authorities and call for the immediate release of those families. When you see injustice, we often assume that somebody's going to do something about it. But what if they don't? We all have a responsibility to stand up and fight against injustice. We all have a role to play in this.